one down, um, or at least check in your answer. So on this problem, first of all, we look at our cosecant, and we determine, is this a point that's on the unit circle? Yes? Yeah. So is this a point that's on the unit circle? It is, so what? This. Is this a point that's on the unit circle? No, so we cannot evaluate for our cosecant of an angle on the unit circle. So therefore, we're going to have to create a triangle. So then we look to our constraint. And our constraint says our angle has to be between pi and 3 pi over 2. So we need to determine which quadrant that's going to be in. Well, if this is 0, that's pi over 2, pi, and that's 3 pi over 2, if we are going into the measurement of an angle. So therefore, I know that's going to be in the third quadrant, because it has to be between pi and 3 pi over 2. So all of my triangles all look exactly the same, where I have to make sure I create it perpendicular to the x-axis, all right, and where my angle is going to be a central angle. Now I need to determine, well, what is the cosecant function? What is that ratio cosecant? Well, cosecant, from our, what we've gone over, is the hypotenuse over the opposite. Hypotenuse over opposite. So our hypotenuse is 5, and our opposite is negative 3. All right. Please remember that your hypotenuse is never going to be negative. All right. But it makes sense that the opposite is negative, right? Because that has to go down, right? It's in the third quadrant. Now I can apply Pythagorean theorem, or I can also understand that this is a Pythagorean triple, and this value is going to be 4. But since the triangle is in the third quadrant, based on that constraint, that 4 is now a negative. So now I'm asking you to do the tangent of um, u over 2, right? It's half angle? OK. So the tangent of u over 2 is equal to 2 tangent of u over 1 minus tangent squared of u. So that's the formula you'll be provided. All right. So you have the formula. Everybody in this case, we, uh, this is all old stuff. Everything is old from this point on. But now, all you're doing is taking the, your angle and plugging it in. So you guys can see that tangent of this angle is a positive 3 over 4. right? Tangent of my angle u is positive 3 over 4. So I plug in 3 over 4 in for tangent of u. Is it? Huh? Oh, shoot, I was doing the double. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, I was doing the double angle. Was, um, yeah, OK. Sorry. So this one, I'm sorry. So the tangent of the half angle. Sorry about that. You're right. Thank you. OK, so that is going to be 1 minus cosine of u divided by sine, right? OK. Sorry about that. I was confusing my things. But you guys don't have to worry about using the wrong formulas or anything. You're going to be provided with everything. Okay? I'm just going off of my head going through. So confirm with me that is the correct formulas for that. Okay. So now I don't care about tangent of u then, right? All I need to know is what cosine and sine of u are. So cosine of u equals negative 4 over 5. And sine of u equals negative 3 over 5. Do you guys agree with that? Okay. So now you just plug in your values. 1 minus cosine, negative 4 over 5, over sine, which is negative 3 over 5. Now, I don't want the 5s in the denominator. So to get rid of the 5s, I'm going to multiply by a 5 on the top and the bottom. Then you have to apply distributive property. And your next answer that you get is now going to be 5. That becomes a a positive, so it's 5 plus 4 all over negative 3. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. Okay. There you go. All right, we'll wait till you guys go to lunch, and then I'll go over any extra questions you guys have.